guys, welcome back to my channel. Stop it. I know that I don't look the best, probably not the best way to do an unboxing, but let's be real. I saw the UPS pull up in front and I was like, Ee! I even told him I was happy to see him. I wanna open this box now. What box are you, you might be asking yourself, what box are you talking about? I'm talking about the Homestead box. I got the Homestead box. Did I mention that I got the Homestead box? I am so excited. Hey, Sandy, what'd you get? I got the Homestead box! Oh. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Tangy the Caver's wife. What makes your garden grow? Water and sunshine. What makes your spirit grow? Knowing that she'll be mine. Tater bug, tater bug. to my front door. So I actually reached out to Haas Tools. I did a little something that I'd never done before and I was like, can you please send me a push-pull hoe so I can use it and review it? And the guy said, actually, I would be happy to send you one, but we're out of stock right now. But we do have a little thing called the Homestead Box. Please note that Haas Tools and the Homestead Box are two separate companies, but worked by the same people. And he said, you know, after looking at my uh, at my channel, he said, I think you would like the theme of this month's box. I think your viewers would too. I already, I don't know what's in here, but I know what the theme is. All right, all right, that's good. That's good. It's rinsed. Shut that water off now. And I didn't even have it in the water. Well, that's not Okay. All right. So I don't know exactly what's in the box, but he told me what the theme of the box is. So knowing what the theme of the box is, I am like out of my mind excited. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to open the Homestead box. So the Homestead box is actually a Homesteaders subscription box. So you pay monthly and then you get this, you pay monthly and you get this awesome box show up to your door with products that you've probably never heard of um, and things to try. So this is a really great way to introduce new tools and products to your homestead um, that you wouldn't have otherwise known to look for. Okay, so I have this open. No, I do not. Oh, I gotta open this. Okay, here we go. All right, first thing we have is paper. Paper's good, paper's good. Removing said paper. Ooh, I see some awesome stuff. All right, first thing we have. We have the deluxe uh, mug, cup, glass, and jar brush. This is nice. I don't have anything like this. This looks like it would actually do a better job than my current, well, it's not a jar cleaner. It's a bottle brush cleaner. So this is actually like, it's like spiral. Very bristly. Super excited about this, the pickle pipe, yay! This is uh, to put on your jars for fermenting. Um, I am so, so happy about this because I almost bought them but didn't have the money for it, so yay! Nice, oh my goodness, these are super nice. These are bamboo mason jar lids. Cool. It says transform any regular mouth mason jar into an attract <laughs> into an attractive and functional storage solution. Uh, they include BPA-free silicone gaskets to create an airtight seal and prevent spills. Perfect for spices and other foodstuffs, craft supplies, and more. That is so nice. Can you see that? That is so nice. I am so excited about the pickle pie. Ooh, okay, so now we have 
Uh, spice, this is pickling spice. Look at that. I mean, you can, you can tell what everything is in there. Oh my word, it smells amazing. It's got red pepper flakes. It's got uh, celery seed, mustard seed. Okay, look at this, you guys. Oh, yes. I've got a five piece canning set. It's got a funnel. I have all these need, I have one funnel, but I always find myself needing another one because I use the one that I have for so many different things. So, so glad that I now have a second one. Um, so I've got another jar lifter, magnetic wand, tongs, and what is this thing? A jar wrench. Quickly open sealed jars and screws on caps to release your home can fish. Awesome. This is so cool. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, lifting more paper. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, nice, a carrot and potato washing brush. So, hard enough to remove dirt yet will not damage the skin of your carrots or potatoes. Very nice. And it looks like, is this, this is the same company? Brush Tech? Yeah. Huh, okay. So, it's the same company that makes this jar washer. Okay, what else do we have here? All right, so now we have some spice bags for Bouquet Garni, Garni? Bouquet Garni, I think is how you say it. Uh, tea potpourri in sachets, awesome! I can use this for my homegrown tea. This is perfect. I am so stinking excited. This is great. This is made by Regency, Na uh, Regency Naturals. All right, the next thing I've got is, is a loofah. It's called Rub Bits. <laughs> Multi-purpose scrubber, non-toxic, compo comp compostable, non-scratch. It's to uh, clean vegetables, scrub your pots and pans, things like that. I'm getting a bunch of goodies. Hmm, what on earth could this be? I think I might know. Ah, oh, yes. Oh my goodness, I, this box is superb. Okay, so this is, if you're fermenting, if you are familiar with fermenting, this is the pickle packer. So like if you're doing, I have a crock, so if I were to make sauerkraut, I would kind of use this to kind of break up the fibers in the cabbage. Um, this is awesome. It says, soap, oil is needed. This is an all-natural vegetable tamper made with acai wood, and it's very pretty, too. So cool. Oh, my goodness. What a treat. Okay. This I have been needing. The last time I fermented, um, I, made, I fermented some radishes, and I just put a glass jar that was smaller down in the center. I didn't really have a way to weight everything down. It worked out okay, but I really, really wanted some of these. So these are those glass discs. Beautiful. Look, isn't that awesome? And these are handmade. So what you do is when you're fermenting, like in a mason jar, you know, you put your stuff that you're fermenting with your water and your salt and everything, and you place this on top to weight everything down so everything stays submerged in your, um, in your liquid. That is so cool. I love the packaging and I love the logo. That is so cute. Okay, looks like I've got one more thing in here, you guys. This is a nice book. It's called The Pickled Pantry. From apples to zucchini, 150 recipes for pickles, relishes, chutneys, and more. This is nice by Andrea Chessman. Oh my goodness. I know what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'm going to pour it over this. This is awesome. So there's recipes in here for rosy Middle Eastern caraway cauliflower. We've got classic hot pepper sauce, pickled mustard greens, Jane's Hillside Pickles, two-day tongue pickles. Oh, perfect. You use seven and a half to eight pounds of overripe cucumbers. If you could see 
my yellow cucumbers that are sitting over there, that's perfect. If you are interested in having a homestead box show up to your front door, be sure to check the description box below for the link. Kids. Um, and that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this. Until next time. You made it to the end of the video. Awesome. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, go ahead and do that. I would love for you to stick around. Um, like I've said before, we talk about biblical homemaking and womanhood here. We talk about homeschooling, working from home. Uh, we talk about gardening and food preservation and all the cool things. And I would love it if you would hang out with me. And then while you're at it over here, I've got a video that I suggest you watch. And yeah, that's it. Have a great day.